Okay, so get this, mm -hmm. Eon Reality. Okay. They're saying their latest Eon XR update can make, get this, welding training. Wow. Feel like an action movie? Really? And I'm not kidding. I kind of want to see that. Yeah. So today we're diving deep into how they're using VR and AR to change how we learn right. some pretty intense skills. Right. right. And it's not just about yeah. the wow factor of VR. Mm -hmm. Eon XR seems to be addressing some really core challenges okay. around engagement and how we measure skill development, Right. especially in fields where hands-on experience is critical. For sure. And their basics of welding techniques course oh, okay. is a perfect example. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. Let's be real for a sec. Cracking open a welding manual yeah. doesn't exactly scream exciting. No, it's not uh, the most for most people thrilling thing. Right. What's fascinating about this new update is how they're using VR to bridge the gap. Okay. Between the textbook and actually doing the thing. Yeah. Remember those old training videos? Oh yeah. Where you just watch someone weld? I do. Yeah. This is different. Okay. ENXR throws you right into the action. Wow. Virtually assembling a metal structure, receiving feedback in real time Whoa. without the risk of, you know, burning anything down. Of setting yourself on fire, which I can see. Exactly. Yeah, I can see how that would be a game changer yeah. for people learning a trade. Mm -hmm. um, so what does that actually look like? Okay. Do I need a whole VR setup in my living room to use this? You don't need a Hollywood studio, thankfully. Okay, good. <laughs> From what I'm seeing, the ENXR platform is designed to be pretty accessible. Okay. They've structured this welding course, right. like levels in a video game, okay. each with its own approach and challenges. Okay, I'm intrigued. Yeah. Walk me through it. Where does it start? It starts with an introduction. Okay. Pretty standard stuff. Right. But instead of just reading dry text, right. you're greeted by a virtual instructor, oh. an avatar, who guides you through the basics of welding equipment and safety. Interesting. It's like having a personalized tutor right there with you. So no more falling asleep during a lecture? Exactly. What comes next on this virtual welding field trip? After the intro, you move into the lecture phase. Okay. But before you think boring, hold on. Okay. ENXR utilizes 3D models and interactive annotations. Imagine being able to rotate a welding torch in 360 degrees. Oh, wow. Zoom in to examine its parts, all while your avatar instructor explains how it works. Okay, yeah, that's definitely different yeah. than just watching a YouTube video. Yeah. But how do they make sure right. you're not just clicking through without really understanding the information? That's where the engagement phase comes in. Okay. Remember that avatar instructor? Yes. They'll actually engage you in what they call Socratic dialogue. Oh, interesting. So instead of just telling you information, they'll prompt you with questions. So making you really think critically about what you're learning. Exactly. That's a far cry from just memorizing answers for a multiple choice quiz. Exactly. It's about promoting deeper understanding. The avatar m might ask, like, why is it important to choose the right welding gas? Oops. Man. Or what are the potential hazards of improper torch handling? Okay. You have to think through the why behind the what. I like that. This is starting to sound mm -hmm. less like a futuristic fantasy and more like, yeah. well, the future of training. Right. And not just for welding. Yeah. Yeah. But at some point, right. you've got to put those welding gloves on. Yeah. Right? Even if they're virtual ones. Absolutely. And that's where the skill simulator phase comes in. Okay. This is where things get truly hands-on. Okay. You become the welder okay. holding the virtual torch. Right. Practicing your technique in a safe, controlled environment. So if I mess up, right. I don't have to worry about setting anything on fire. Precisely. You're free to experiment and learn from your mistakes okay. without any real-world consequences. Right. But it's not just about going through the motions. Yeah. The EONXR platform provides real-time feedback on your performance. Okay, so my virtual instructor isn't going to let me no. get away with any sloppy welds? Not at all. I like a challenge. Good. So how does that work? Okay. Does it like yell at me if I'm doing it wrong? It's uh, it's a lot more nuanced than that. The right. system can detect if you're holding the virtual torch at the wrong angle. Wow. Just like a real welding instructor would. Okay. And then give you guidance on how to correct it. That's wild. Yeah. So it's not just about like teaching the steps. Right. But really understanding. But the technique and all of your actions in the simulator are tracked and analyzed. 
Right. That's where those analytics dashboards we mentioned right. come into play. Yeah. Eon Reality has built some pretty sophisticated assessment tools into the platform. So it's giving you feedback while you're doing it. Yes. And tracking your progress over time. You got it. Okay. It's not just about whether you completed the virtual well. Right. It's about understanding your technique. Okay. And identifying areas where you might need more practice. Gotcha. So you're getting data on your learning process. So it's like an x-ray vision. Yeah, exactly. To my progress. Exactly. Okay. And that kind of personalized feedback can help you improve much faster. That's awesome, but let's be real. Okay. Some folks might hear VR welding and just sure. think, oh, it's just like a video game. It's a gimmick. Yeah. So how do we know these skills actually translate to the real world? It's a question yeah. that researchers are exploring. Right. But there's growing evidence that VR training can be incredibly effective okay. for hands-on skills like welding. Okay. Think about the advantages, right? Mm -hmm. You can practice as much as you need yeah. without the cost of materials right. or the risk of injury. You're not wrong. Yeah. There are definitely no do-overs exactly. when you're dealing with an actual blowtorch. Exactly. Mm. Plus, you can rewind and replay specific sections. Oh, that's nice. You can really zero in on oh, your weak it. points. So this takes away some of the pressure exactly. in making mistakes. Yeah, and because it's all digitized, right. instructors can track your progress mm -hmm. with a level of detail that's just not possible mm. in a traditional setting. Interesting. Imagine being able to identify skill gaps before someone picks up a real welding torch. That makes sense. Or being able to personalize training programs right. based on individual learning styles. This brings up a good point. Like, okay. This deep dive has been about welding, right? but the applications seem like Absolutely. way broader than that. Think about surgery. Oh, wow. Flight okay. simulation, mm -hmm. even things like public speaking or coding. Yeah. Okay. Anything that requires hands-on practice and real-time feedback. Right. So anything where you kind of need to, like, actually do the thing. Exactly. Like, it could like, benefit from this immersive, data-driven approach. So what you're saying is, if I want to be a brain surgeon, okay, I should get one of these. Well, maybe not for brain surgery yet. Oh. But it couldn't hurt to be an early adopter. Okay. But seriously... Yeah. This technology aligns with this bigger trend we're seeing okay. in education and professional development. Mm -hmm. We're moving away from the one size fits all model of learning right. and moving towards these personalized adaptive experiences. Yeah, it's like having a personal trainer at the gym versus trying to use like right. an old so. fitness book. Exactly. It's the same information. Yeah. But the delivery and the guidance make a big difference. Exactly. And just like a good personal trainer. Right. This technology isn't about replacing mm -hmm. human instructors altogether. Mm -hmm. It's about giving them better tools to support students and, and yeah. track their progress. Yeah, that makes sense. Imagine a world where educators can spend less time on rote instruction okay. and more time providing individualized guidance and mentorship. That sounds like a win-win to me. Exactly. But let's address the elephant in the room. Okay. We've talked about all the cool features, the potential benefits. Right. Are there any downsides? Well, that's the million dollar question. Right. And we mm -hmm. need to approach it with a healthy dose of skepticism. Okay. While this technology shows immense promise, there are always challenges with implementing new tools. Of course. Especially in fields like education where mm -hmm. change can be slow. Yeah. So what are some of the potential hurdles? Well. Well, for one, this tech isn't exactly cheap. VR headsets are getting more affordable. Yeah. But it's still a barrier for a lot of people in schools. Definitely. Access is a big one. Yeah. And then there's the question of content. Right. It's fantastic that they've created this welding simulator, mm -hmm. but we need more high quality VR learning experiences right. across different subjects and skill levels. It's like having one amazing book yeah. in a library that's still being built. Right. You need more to make it useful. Yeah. And what about the human element? Oh, absolutely. You can't forget about that. Yeah, we have to be cautious about relying too heavily on technology. Right. It's about finding that sweet spot okay. where VR enhances, right. not replaces, okay. real-world collaboration and problem-solving. Yeah. Human instructors and mentors, they're always going to be essential. It's all about balance. Exactly. So where do we go from here? Right. What's the next chapter? That's the big question. Yeah. And one that this update is forcing us to consider. Yeah. We're at the edge of a massive shift yeah, in how we think about education and training. Right. And this is just the beginning. 
it's exciting. Yeah. And a little bit intimidating at the same time. Yeah. Like, are we all going to be showing up to work? Right. Wearing these headsets in the future? Well, maybe not all of us. Okay. But I think it's safe to say that immersive learning is here to stay. Okay. This update from Eon Reality. Yeah. It's just a great example of how the lines between right. the physical and digital worlds are blurring. Okay. So we've talked about what Eon XR is. Right. And how it works. Mm -hmm. What does this all actually mean? Yeah. What's the takeaway? Right. For our listeners, huh. for the future of learning, for the future of work. This technology has the potential right. to make high quality training accessible to everyone. Okay. Imagine a world where your location or your income right. doesn't limit your ability to learn wow. in demand skills. Okay. That's a game changer, right. especially as automation yep. changes the job market. So instead of widening this skills gap, yeah. VR and AR could actually help close it i think it has the potential yeah okay it's not just about job training either right think about schools museums uh, healthcare. yeah that's a good point anywhere that yeah. interactive learning can make a difference right this could transform how we learn at all ages it makes you wonder what would you want to learn oh that's a good question if you could just master anything yeah in a vr or ar environment that's a good question what would it be this update just reminds us that we're living in a time yeah. of incredible technological advancement. For sure. It's up to us to use these tools responsibly mm. and shape a better future with them. Lots to think about. And to our listeners. Yeah. We want to hear from you. Yes. What skills would you want to master Yeah. in a VR or AR world? Let us know. Head over to our website or social media and let us know. Exactly. Until next time, keep exploring. Yeah. Keep yeah. learning and keep diving deep. Keep diving deep.